What up fam, Agent O here and I've got another action figure review. Today I've got the Perfect Effect Motobot PEDX01 RC. Just gonna call her RC for short, um, because that's what the char that's who the character is um the figure is based off of. And first off I want to start by saying that this figure is the figure that finally made me crack and made me actually want to pay full price for a third party transformer. Um, I am disgusted with myself because I feel like such a hypocrite because if you watched my rant about third party transformer companies, then you know my stance on the matter. But at the same time, I have to say that I am happy overall with my purchase. And that being said, I'm going to jump right into this review and uh, talk about the pros and cons of this figure. Now, I like how her look pays homage to the generation 1 concept design and the and the IDW design at the same time um as for the overall look of this figure just looking at the figure it's the best one that perfect effect has done so far uh there's tons of detail um she's got lots of seams and line work um there's this over there's this metal plating type of deal going on with her torso that looks pretty cool and I feel like the paint apps and the yellow translucent plastic accents that are on like her 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 back booster panels or whatever um they really help to break up that pink and white color scheme and to add some variety to the look of the figure overall and I went with the pink instead of the blue for this figure because it's it's more you know it, obviously it's more of an homage to the generation 1 figure and it uh I don't know, it makes her, st I think it makes the character stand out more. I mean, I know pink is more associated with girls, but, and she is a girl, um, and that's kind of stupid that, you know, that's how they did things back then, you know, pink is for the girls and blues and whatever are for guys, but I think it works with this character for some odd reason, or maybe it's just because I've become so, uh, so accustomed to it, I, I, it's growing on me over, over the years, so... Uh, that's why basically I went with this figure now for the posability the posability is actually really really good on this figure there's has she has all the right joints in all the right places um, they have the right amount of tightness so it makes it makes it easier for the figure to hold poses but not hard to move the limbs into pa place for the poses and she can take on a variety of dynamic poses and I had a lot of fun messing with this figure and you know taking the pictures of all the different types of poses that you can get out of this I love the added wrist articulation uh, allowing her to point the swords you know forward it really helps add you know that much more to some of the dynamic poses that you can get that you can pull off with this character and I think it was it's not a necessary articulation point, but that's really what I liked about it. It was a really nice touch, and I like uh, I like how I just like I just like it. <laughs> um, I was kind of afraid when I first saw you know production and advertisement pictures for this figure about the feet because of the way they were constructed and I didn't think like they were going to be able to hold a lot of poses you know like the, I didn't think the feet were going to be able to support weight when you put when you put the figure in dynamic poses and those fears were pretty much put to rest after seeing how much articulation was in the feet I mean both the front and the back parts of the feet can move forward and backward independently of each other and the the two posts in the back feet can actually move independently of all the other parts of the feet and the front part of the feet the of the toes or whatever you know they're on a double swivel joint so it allows the front feet to point up and down and also to rotate in 360 degrees and which really helps with, with maintaining dynamic poses and supporting you know weight when it's when the center of gravity when the figure isn't standing you know in its center of gravity uh, it's a good combination of range of motion in conjunction with being a part of the transformation scheme. I mean, it's a really good look on Perfect Effects part when all the aspects of the articulation also serve the dual purpose of 
of helping with the transformation scheme. I mean, you get that sometimes with, you get that a lot of times with other figures, but it just really, everything seems to just work in tandem with this figure in particular. Um, this is also the first time that I actually liked having a backpack on a Transformer. It's it's small, it's relatively small, so it doesn't look like an eyesore, and it doesn't make the figure top heavy and you know have you have weight distribution problems you know it doesn't do any of that it also has a purpose of which is you know weapon storage you can store her swords her two swords and her two handguns on it and it can be removed if you want to but that is a little bit more for the transformation scheme than it is for convenience even though it is convenient but it it's for the transformation scheme but it's still a nice touch. And uh, speaking of the transformation scheme, the vehicle mode looks great overall. You know, the bike mode looks very futuristic and Cybertronian. The transformation scheme, it's, it isn't too hard to grasp. It's somewhat simple, but there's enough steps in it that it feels complex and fun. Although I do suggest reading the directions, though, when transforming the figure for the first time. There's a part when transforming the feet into the wheels that you should pay attention to you really have to like you really have to tuck those feet up in behind the knees of the figure because because it it helps keep the feet out of the way from all the from the from the piece of from the barrel of the sniper rifle that goes underneath and also it was actually really really hard to get the feet in there like you really have to push hard and I was afraid I was going to break the figure I don't know if anyone else has had that issue because I haven't watched anyone's reviews on this figure yet but you really need to take care I don't know if that was just my figure in particular or if this was a QC issue or whatever um, but you also have to be careful when rotating the knee guards because even though they're designed to pop off easily if there's too much force applied you can still run the risk of breaking them or wearing down parts that the parts that connect to the knees so you have to watch out for that you also have to make sure that the legs are bent and in the proper position when turning the knee guards because when you when you rotate those knee guards they actually lock the legs in place they lock the knee they lock the legs in place at the knee so you don't get any kind of movement when it's fixed in its in the transformation in its vehicle mode uh this was actually a really like smart function and that was surprising to me because I wasn't expecting that with this figure and I thought it was a really nice touch and I'm actually curious as to how they pulled that off because I've never I don't think I've ever seen that in a transformer figure before so you know good look on perfect effect for for doing that um there is some part swapping when transforming this figure and I personally absolutely hate part swapping with transformers but I'm going to give this one a pass I mean it barely passes only because you know perfect effect does a really great job with weapon storage and in, in the alt mode you know the, the gun breaks apart the the sniper rifle breaks apart and the like like five like four different pieces or five different pieces and all of it fits onto the bike in really clever ways um the scope and the bipod fit on the sides of the panels of the side panels of the bike and they take on this different function of being you know you know weapon vehicle weapons and they don't look out of place or you know they or they don't look like hey that's a scope on the side that's not a laser you know or something it, they actually look right it actually looks proper and the rest of the sniper rifle breaks down to serve as you know cosmetic parts for the rest of the bike mode and they also serve a dual function of holding the arms in place and you know along with being cosmetic parts of the alt mode and uh that's a really it's really smart on perfect effects part for doing that um now i'm gonna get to the cons and because there are a few starting with the paint apps 
you know, they were fine for the most part, but for some reason the face was painted quite shoddily. It looked like they just went over really quick with an airbrush. I didn't try, try to take a picture of it because the camera that I have is not good, but um, I'm working on getting a better camera, by the way, but uh, I'm not sure if this was a problem with other people's figures or if this was just a quality control issue. I did also mention that the sword storage and the alt mode was a good thing, but it was also a bad thing because it was really hard for me to fit the swords in the slots that they're supposed to fit into, and it was even harder for me to get them out when I was trying to transform the figure back. I'm afraid to do it because again because I'm afraid I'm going to accidentally break the swords trying to get them out of the off out of these slots. Um, I don't. Once again, I don't know if this was a QC issue or if this was just my own um, personal figure problem with my personal figure. Um, you know, that's that's what it is with that figure. Um, with that part of the figure. Now, the alt mode looks good, like I said before, but uh, it looks good until you turn it around to the back and you've got robot parts. I mean, once again, Perfect Effect accomplishes a lot, and then just peters out and has a brain fart you know when it came to covering up the hands of the figure you know you managed to hide and change other aspects of and functions of the figure but yet you you couldn't figure out a way to hide the hands from viewing the alt mode i mean come on son you know do it all or you know don't bother doing it you know um aside from that i don't really have any other ish bad things to say about this figure you know if they could just fix not showing you know robot parts in the figure then you know the this figure would damn it per, it practically would get a perfect 10 out of out of me i also did have the uh transformers prime the second edition rc figure and I, you know i put the two side by side and i messed around with them both and if i were to compare the two i would have to say that the perfect effect figure beats the hasbro rc figure in practically every single aspect you know they just put together a better transformer you know and that's sad because hasbro that's what hasbro does they've been making transformers for you know since i was a little kid you know back in the 80s i can't believe that you know they're they're just slipping like this you know and and the rc the the hasbro rc figure is not a bad figure it's a pretty decent figure but when you weigh in all the pros and cons and all the things that the Perfect Effect RC figure does that the Hasbro RC doesn't do, I mean, it really takes the uh, awesomeness out of that RC, out of that Hasbro figure. Hasbro needs to really step their game up and in order to compete with these guys. Otherwise, they're gonna they're complaining now that that they can't pay their sculptors and their designers as much money as they as they would like to you know for the kind of work that we would like to see then it's only going to get worse for them because i mean perfect effect and other companies are really doing are really doing it well with these uh transformer figures so um that really about does it for this review until the next time i've got an um i've got some other stuff down the pipeline that i'd want to talk about and and post videos so if you got anything else you'd like to add, you know, post it in the comments and let's open up some dialogue. I'm Agent O and I'm out of here. Peace.